Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Pray that I get to work on time. <laughs> Woohoo! Wake up! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dashboard Confessions. I'm Shari, your Dashboard Confession host. Who else would I be? <laughs> it's early morning, and I'm on my way to a follow-up doctor's visit for my knee to find out. I took x-rays. Although, you know, sometimes I think I'm smarter than the doctors. I mean, obviously not often or even really, but I've been through so many knee surgeries, tests, all that kind of stuff that I know for what my issue that I believe my issue is, an MRI is needed. And the doctor's like, we'll just give you an x-ray. We could see cartilage. I'm like, uh, x-rays for bones, <laughs> but whatever. It's just, and then of course they can't tell you what your results of your x-rays are over the phone because then it wouldn't cost any money. So I've got to go in so we can look at them together. Like I know what I'm looking at. It just amazes me. Amazes me. So it's early and I got out of work late last night and I wanted to make sure I get enough sleep because I've learned to sleep about eh, four hours. So I started taking um, some sleeping stuff to help me and I get like, it's not that I have problems falling asleep. I have problems staying asleep and I'm like, no, I don't want to go that way. Lots of traffic. Uh, so I sleep about with the sleeping stuff like six or seven hours, which is huge. <laughs> huge. Anyway, I saw something this morning on Facebook and it was somebody um, talking about how they wish they hadn't done something and they knew better and it just reminded me of all the times that I had these big decisions to make or even smaller decisions and my gut was obviously telling me something else but the other part of me, the part of me that liked at some point in my life to be victimized or to like prove to myself that, you know, life is unfair and I have this dark cloud over my head and everything's wrong. In the moment, like the immediate result of making that one choice was, of course, I mean, I would have made a choice that like in the moment was, is going to be miserable, but sure it was fun to do and it sounded exciting or, you know, it, it was just like a short term positive effect, but obviously the long term you know, but at that time I was like, oh, I'll worry about that later. That's because I was in self-destructive mode. That's because I thought life should hurt. That's because I thought everybody uh, was always going to hurt me or betray me or life was going to do that. So I kept making decisions and choices that proved me right. And then I could be, you know, the victim and say, see, I told you, I told you. When you get tired of being tired, when you get tired of making the same choices and being heard and being tired, the tired, big tired. Uh, when you just want to live better for yourself, you'll start listening to your gut because your gut, your heart, your instincts always lead you in the right directions. Always, always, always. Uh, but we choose to sometimes drown out those voices or drown out your spirit, your one voice with all the other voices that come from, you know, childhood, that come from whatever, come from past hurts, come from places that do not want you to be happy. So. It might seem like an immediate thing to, you know, make a, a, an immediate positive thing to make a certain choice, but follow your gut, follow your instinct, your spirit, your guide, your heart is always leading you in the right direction. Always. Like anytime that you've ever followed that, you always make the right choices. Now here's the important part. Here's the important part, folks. There is an important part. Stay tuned. Uh, the important part is that if you make a choice that is not in your best interest or in your higher interest the best way to make amends with that or to make it okay in any situation is to choose to learn from it, is to choose to say, all right, you know, because maybe your voices, the other ones that want you to hurt, maybe they drowned out your spirit, which if you go into the silent place, into your stillness of your heart, you'll never, it'll never be drowned out ever, ever, ever. So, but if you do choose to forgive yourself, choose to forgive yourself of the, of the choices that you made and choose to make decisions the next time that are wiser. But if you stay in that place of harping on, why did I do that? And I'm so dumb and oh my God, my life. Well, guess what? You're going to send out that vibration of negativity and yuck and all that stuff. And you're going to continue making those choices because you're going to continue feeling bad about yourself. Believe in yourself, have faith in yourself. You know, the answers, your heart knows your heart knows what you want and in the center of your being you know who you are and um with that i say au revoir adios hasta luego a vida zane that's all i got for you bye guys have a beautiful day thanks for tuning in to sharing with sharing